from 2016 to 2019, online gaming was still not allowed in the local scene. So what was allowed before is Pogo, which is online gaming, but these are games offered to foreign nationals, players outside of our jurisdiction. So online gaming offered to local players only started in 2020. As I have said, it started together with the pandemic. So if you look at the screen, uh, we have there the amount. The, by the way, the, the amounts here are in billion, billion pesos. So you can see here that there is a slow increase, but steady increase in the income being derived from online betting. On-site betting here on the screen means these are the income being derived from the physical betting sites. While the online betting is the income derived by PAC4 from, from the internet. So if you look at electronic games here, uh, in 2020, 0.07% uh, only. But in 2021, it rose to 36.22% already. With physical uh, betting sites only uh, comp comprising 63%. But on the first quarter of 2022, on the income from online, the income from uh, actually this is not income. This is gross gaming revenue. Uh, gross gaming revenue from online betting already increased to fifty three point twenty nine percent, higher than the GGR from on site betting, which is only forty six point seventy one. If you look at sports betting for twenty twenty two first quarter, mas malaki yung difference na. Physical betting is only twenty two point sixty eight percent while online betting is already 77.32. So this, this, the, this income stream shows us the trend that uh, people are really preferring online, online games over uh, physical betting or in-person betting through the physical sites. So and it, this, these are the income derived by Pagcore. So you will see that uh, Income from online betting started from 2020 and is continually increasing to 2022. So this will pro this this figure will probably be considered by the next administration and look at uh, if this is a viable source of income. And on the other side, look look at the regulation if this can be properly regulated because we not, we cannot just look at this as an income source. We have to we we always uh, have to consider responsible gaming. So if this cannot be controlled or this will result to addiction or minors being allowed to play or, or OFWs, uh, people who are not uh, financially capable of engaging in gaming as being involved in these games, then probably even if uh, online gaming showing showing as good figures, probably the next, next administration will not allow this to continue. So online gaming would Right now, it is still in limbo. We do not know if, the, if the, it will be allowed to continue or not. But the figures show us that we have to look at it as a, a viable source of income. We only have to respond or be prepared with the proper regulations so that we can uh, address the issues that we will face with online, uh, with online gaming or online gambling.